So here's an issue that's gotten zero coverage, despite the fact that it seems pretty important to me. Judge throws out lawsuit accusing Trump campaign of colluding with Russia and WikiLeaks to publish hacked DNC emails. Okay, now, before I give more information on this, let me just say up front, um, this was a jurisdiction issue more than anything else. So the judge made clear to say, okay, this is not a ruling on the merits of the case. This is, we're just uh, letting everybody know that we don't have jurisdiction to hear this for reasons X, Y, and Z. So I don't know where this case goes now in terms of what court it goes to and where that court is, but this is a, a judge saying it ain't in our court. It's not in our DC court. We, we don't have jurisdiction to hear this. But there's no discussion of this at all in the mainstream media. They all, I remember when the, uh, the case broke where they all breaking news headlines. Oh my God, DNC suing WikiLeaks and uh, the Trump campaign over collusion with Russia. And you couldn't go to a single news site without that being like the first story. Well, now that, that this, it, there's at least one roadblock in the way, a speed bump, a little hiccup in the case, I I've, haven't seen this article in even 20% of the outlets that it was in when they announced it. It's almost like they have a narrative that they're trying to stick to and they don't want any competing information to burst that bubble. So when you ask me, even though this was a situation where they're ruling on, on the jurisdiction of it, listen, I think that the DNC, I think the Democratic Party, they're in for a rude awakening. Because I don't even know what their case is. Like, what, what exactly are you saying is illegal? So let's say the argument is, oh, it's the fact that maybe, maybe not. But let's get grant them it. Say that, yes, the Trump campaign got information, not just from a Russian about Hillary, but from the Russian government. Okay, well, Hillary Clinton got information about Trump from Ukraine. So if... If Trump is guilty, if his campaign is guilty of working with Russia to get negative information on Hillary, Hillary did that, and not only with Ukraine, also with Israel. Now, it was later on that, um, you know, the Trump campaign actually, when, they, when he became president-elect, the Trump campaign actually colluded with Israel in the sense that uh, Israeli officials told Jared Kushner, you need to get in contact at the, with uh, other countries at the UN and get them to not condemn our illegal occupations. Remember when um, Kerry and Obama on the way out condemned uh, Israel's illegal occupations at the UN? The US didn't veto it when the other countries were like, we're going to condemn it. Well, they tried to get President-elect Trump and his administration to intervene and call other countries and get them to side with Israel. So there was collusion with Israel. But before that, Israel was with Hillary. And Ukraine was with Hillary. So... If Trump got information from Russia, which again, that's an open question as to whether or not he did. Um, well, Hillary got it from other countries too. But again, see, that's the thing. They're not... It's like they don't care about objective standards. This has become an issue unto itself that it's its own thing. And there's like a subculture that's developed around this. It's almost like a religion, the Trump-Russia thing. And it really is amazing to watch everything unfold. And then the other point is, listen, when it comes to, oh, you're going to sue... Um, WikiLeaks as well, it's like, well, how is that not deeply against the First Amendment and freedom of the press? Even if you disagree with WikiLeaks and how they handled themselves in this last election and how they leaned against Hillary in the last election big time, that's irrelevant to the broader issue of should a press outlet have the freedom to get information and leak it in the public interest. Even if you don't agree uh, that it is in the public interest. The precedent you're setting is they say it's in the public interest and they leak it. And if you try to stop that, well, then the cat's out of the bag and the government gets to regulate what uh, press outlets can and can't leak, which is deeply against the First Amendment. That is totally against freedom of the press. So to chase a partisan political issue... The Democrats, the DNC, is trying to blow up the First Amendment, blow up the Constitution, act like press outlets don't have the right to leak this stuff. 
And listen, my whole thing has been, and I told you guys this from the beginning, you shouldn't be against WikiLeaks reporting on what was happening at the DNC because we learned a lot of valuable stuff. We learned that they were basically rigging the primary against Bernie Sanders. And we learned about a bunch of Hillary's statements and how she said, oh, we have bigotry against the rich in this country. And oh my God, shouldn't we have totally free and open trade borders? But you shouldn't be against the DNC for leaking that because, oh my God, it's going to hurt your team. What you should have been for is WikiLeaks leaking stuff on the RNC as well. Because we all know damn well, if the roles were reversed, let's say WikiLeaks leaked stuff on the RNC but not the DNC, then all of a sudden everybody on the right would despise WikiLeaks and everybody on the left would love WikiLeaks again. Uh, I'm just asking for consistency. I'm just asking for being objective and abiding by the legal principle of saying it's allowed in either circumstance. Because what they're doing is leaking in the public interest, even if you don't agree that the particulars really will point the public in the right direction... It is leaking to give more information to the public about stuff that we should probably know in the first place. I just wish they also did it on the RNC because I guarantee you, the way the sausage is made at the DNC is gross and disgusting and they cheated Bernie Sanders, we would learn a lot of that shit on the RNC side. And my guess is, they tried to rig it against Trump and for any of the other candidates who were more establishment. First it was Jeb, then it was Marco Rubio, then they said, fuck it, we'll even take Cruz. And then they, Trump was able to overcome all of them. Um, but... Big uh, hiccup in this case, no coverage whatsoever. I wonder if they'll cover it when it inevitably implodes. Because, I, again, I, I'm not a legal expert, but I think at face value, this is a, a hilarious lawsuit. Because th what are you going to do? W so what's the ruling going to be? What, are you going to try to remove Trump? Let's say let's say they, the court agrees with you. What do they, you do? Remove Trump from office because something, something Russia... It's not going to happen. They're not going to remove Trump. They're not going to swear in Hillary. Everybody knows that's not going to happen. And if that were to happen, there'd be a fucking revolution of the Trump people out in the street with guns. So if they're not going to replace Trump, then what's the second best thing? What do you want to do? Totally take WikiLeaks out of business? Well, then you're not helping the country. You're hurting the country because then nobody or very few people are really working hard to release information to the public that we should know to the extent that WikiLeaks goes to do that. So, I don't, what do you even want? I mean, this will destroy the First Amendment, destroy the Constitution, possibly shut down WikiLeaks. Is that what you want? Or you want to remove Trump from office? It's all a pipe dream. It's a pipe dream for a fucking partisan uh, witch hunt, and it's really silly.